Welcome to PACEIT's Career and Entrepreneurship Presentations. My name is Mary Keeney and this presentation covers work history and resume. We will cover which elements you need to compile your work history, what you do if you're just starting a career, and what you do if you're just starting a brand new career in a new direction but you've had a career before. Your work history will combine the compiled list of places you work, have worked, and your positions with each company. It also includes additional experience you acquired, out, acquired outside of your day job. It can be experience from volunteering for different organizations, your hobbies, or side projects you accomplished. Your work experience is the proof of experience you claimed. It needs to be very concrete and factual, and it needs to be verifiable. You can't claim to work for a company when you actually never did. Claiming more than you actually worked is going to come back and haunt you. Even if you get the job you wanted by claiming you have the skills required for the job, it will become apparent very soon that you are over your head. Interviews are notorious about how much people embellish their work experience and their skills. With most people, you can see through the smoke and mirrors. However, some people manage to fake their way into a job they really can't handle. So the key to your work history is to be honest and be fair to yourself. So what if you're starting fresh or you're switching industries and you don't have any relevant experience? You have some experience in something. You should list all your experience and emphasize transferable skills like leadership, initiative to solve problems and get things done. If you are fresh out of college and have limited experience by working at Starbucks or other places that are completely outside your new industry, still list them. For example, baristas develop great skills in ex uh, executing tasks under pressure and under time constraints. They also develop great customer service skills. No matter what industry you will be in, these skills will become useful immediately. So always list all of your skills, even if it's from a job that's unrelated to the one you're applying to. Next we're going to talk about resumes and we're going to note three types, chronological, functional, and combination. You're going to need to determine which type is best for the type of jobs you're applying to. Other qualifications and assembling the resumes are things we'll also cover next. So a chronological resume is the more traditional one. This is where you Present your work experience chronologically from the most recent job that you've had to the back to the first job or earliest job you had. The structure is also a little bit different. You list the company name, the period of time for which you worked there, then the tasks, responsibilities, and accomplishments you achieved while working there. A functional resume emphasizes skills by category. Usually people group the categories based on the responsibilities that are typical for that particular position. For example, you can group them as software development, system administration, SharePoint development, etc. Under each category, list the responsibilities you had for each. These usually match the job description for the specific position. The best way to ensure you are using the same terminology is to go back to your skill set research you did. That involved researching job descriptions for the type of position you are looking for. As you remember from previous presentations, you were asked to focus on the most common ones and match those with the skills and experience you have. Use those terms here. Another tip, make sure you match as many of the skills and type of experience the job description requires and put them in your resume if you have those skills. Use their main terms, and but make it your own. Don't copy and paste the list of requirements from your resume, and don't list the skills or experiences you don't have. Mixed resume or combined resume, they're just that. They have the work experience chronologically under each company, and they group the skills and experience into categories, just like you would in a functional resume. So which type of resume is best for you? It really depends. You can use a chronological resume if you have lots of work experience and use the functional one if you don't. However, especially for technology, uh, technology professionals, the most common is a functional. 
employers are looking at skill sets more than actual companies you worked for. Since most reviewers skim through the resumes, they want to see specific skills that you have. You can also use the combined resume. On your resume, you also want to list other qualifications, like any kind of certifications you might have, professional association memberships, volunteering awards, and anything else that's going to make you shine in your resume to those potential employers. You never want to list your age, your marital status, or your number of children, or even if you have children. You also don't want to list your religion. Uh, because these employment laws are uh, prohibit employers from asking these things and it's based on discrimination issues so pr to prevent discrimination these are things that are not discussed in your resume or during an interview other things you want to add to your resume would be your interests hobbies languages you speak and if you have US citizenship or you're able to work legally in the United States if you are willing to travel or relocate would be another thing to list. Here are some other tips for assembling the resume. You want to keep it simple. You want to keep clear language. You want to keep the design minimalistic so it's easy to read the resume. You want to use common fonts. You don't want anything funky in there. You want it to be readable. You also want to check the grammar and spelling. Every program that you use to create your resume on your computer will have a grammar and spell check. Always use them. You also want to have someone else look over your resume and make sure there are no additional mistakes that maybe this spell check didn't catch, like compliment and compliment, which are the same word sounding but they're spelled differently and they have two different meanings. One is C-O-M-P-L-I-M-E-N-T and one is C-O-M-P-L-E-M-E-N-T. One letter difference but it makes a difference. So we've covered today which elements you need to compile your work history, what to do if you're just starting a career, and what are you doing if you're changing careers. I hope this has been helpful and thank you for watching our video.